everyone welcome to Marika Creations today I will share with you three DIYs and they have two things in common one is that they are going into my kitchen and breakfast area and the second thing is that they are all in the industrial farmhouse style so I sit in for this For my first DIY, I will take these wooden cubes that I thrifted, 50 cents each, and I have five of them. They already have these holes, and the big holes, they were sold as um, planters, I think. And I will stack them onto this curtain rod here, and the ends are like industrial looking end pieces. And I will put this whole thing on the countertop in my kitchen. So first thing I take off the parts that was on these blocks and I'm sanding off all the sides front and back and up and down everywhere on all of them. Now I am marking where I need to drill that hole to fit the curtain rod. So it will be in the corner right there. I find the corner and then halfway down the line there about. And I make the same markings on all of them. And hubby is here drilling the hole starting off with a thinner drill bit and then working with the bigger one can't go all the way through so put it upside down and let the holes meet and once all drilled and nice i'm sanding off the piece again and also inside that hole to get it nice and smooth this video is part of the Room by Room Challenge Industrial Farmhouse Edition hosted by Devin over at Freckled Mom DIY. I will leave a link to her channel down in my description box so you can check her out later and I will also have a link to the playlist of this challenge down in my description for more inspiration. Cutting the curtain rod to size from the countertop to the ceiling. And I'm spacing out my wood blocks evenly where I need to put them, not too high up because I will not be able to reach them <laughs> all the way up at the ceiling. And mark where we need to drill some holes. And why do we need to drill some more holes? We need to put some nails in these holes to keep the wood blocks in place once they are put on the rod. You will see later on. And here I am painting my wood blocks in a satin black paint and I only applied one coat. Once my wood blocks have dried, I will embellish them a little bit to make them look a little more industrial. I'm taking some leftover of this aluminum platter and flatten it and I will cut out a rectangle shape and I will fold that around the corners of my first cube. I'm working fast here but you will see how it looks in just a moment. And I cut four of them because I have four corners but before I put them on I will dry brush the piece just with a white acrylic like that and then I will hot glue the corners into place. 
they are very shiny looking at the moment so I need to address that make them look a bit more worn and torn and I will do that with just some acrylic paint I have some black that I put on I'm just dabbing it on with my paintbrush and some bronze and some gold and end it off with some white as well just a beautiful mix of the four colors On my second cube I will put on metal corners like these ones. I need four more. So I will cut out circles from my aluminum foil there. Don't need to be perfect because I will fold them around the corners so it won't show. So four of them and I will put them on like you see me do here. And when I'm happy with how they look, I will hot glue them into place. Just a dot on each side of that corner and press the metal piece into place. And here as well, I will use the same technique as on the other cube. A mix of uh, black, white, gold and bronze colours. No rhyme or reason really, just dabbing away. The third cube that I will embellish has these round pieces on it. I have dabbed them the same fashion as I did for the other ones and now I'm just writing with the Sharpie number one and have some dots here and there to mimic nails and the last two I will just dry brush them and no further embellishment we put it together and here it is screwed it in place at the ceiling and here they are looking pretty I think and here is the bottom I did not screw that into the countertop in case I want to move it I have just a double-sided tape there and you can put whatever in those holes I have some spoons and some toothpicks and some spices and the top ones where you don't reach daily I have some greenery and here you can see what the nail is for to prevent uh, the cubes from sliding down the rod. Tell me what you think. Industrial? Industrial farmhouse maybe? Let me know in the comments. For my second DIY, I have picked up this beautiful duck at the thrift store for a couple of euros. And look at it, it's an um, industrial farmhouse personified, I think, with the gears and the bolts and everything. But it doesn't look like a mechanical bird at the moment. So I will address that and I will put it up on this um, metal round. I will cut off the current hangers that was already on there and then I will spray paint that metal round with a black matte spray paint. But now for the duck. I will paint it, put on a base coat, a grey base coat. I've just mixed uh, white acrylic paint with some black and I applied two coats.
Now I'm taking a sponge and I'm tapping on black acrylic, bronze, gold, white, what have you, to really bring out the texture that this mechanical bird has. Again, no rhyme or reason really, just tapping away until I'm happy with the result. While the first coat on the bird is drying, I take my creamy gold color and just rub in some of that gold on my metal round and then I go back to the bird again, continue with some white and also the creamy gold color. If you're new to my channel, hi! I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. I take some metal wire and put it on the hanger that already was on the bird and then I find the place that I will attach it and just twist that metal wire to secure it, cut off the excess and then it's just a matter of putting it up and here it is in the window between the cooking area and the bar space in my kitchen. Tell me what you think. I think it's a lot nicer now where you can see that it is a mechanical bird. It looks pretty in that window. I like it. For my third and final DIY, I will take this picture that I have thrifted for 4 euros, same in US dollars, about. And I will just take off the backing for now. I will just take away the picture. I will use the glass and the backing later on, you will see. But first I will focus on the frame. I love the shape of it. So I'm sanding off the frame. It's a wooden frame, so that's good. And then I will just clean it off properly and start painting it. And I will use a black satin color and I apply two coats. Also on the back, even though you won't be able to see it. I like a nice finish. I'm taking my creamy golden color now and I will highlight the textures of the frame in two places, right about there and also on the outer part of the frame. I completely forgot to mention, I will make an industrial farmhouse looking tray out of this frame here. So that's where I'm going with this project. And now when I'm done with this golden color, I will set that frame aside and I will focus on the inside of my tray. I have this aluminum platter that I will cut out the shape of the frame, just tracing with the backing and cut it out with a pair of scissors, like so. I will glue that aluminum sheet onto the backing, just spread out some tacky glue and on the edges some hot glue as well to get that instant hold. And then I will trim off any excess of that aluminum foil.
as I did with my other creations today, I will create a surface that looks more worn and torn and a bit rusty. So I'm tapping on some black, some bronze, some gold, some white, acrylic paint, just dabbing away until I'm happy with the result and set it aside to dry for a bit. I have some knickknacks that I have found in my drawer, some metal pieces that I will put on this sheet of aluminum foil to make it look more industrial. And I'm dabbing on these colors on these pieces to make them look more aged. Rubbing on some of my creamy golden color as well as a final touch. Before I put everything together, I will put on the handles on the frame, making pilot holes and uh, just screw in those tiny screws that come with the handles. And I bought them from Amazon and I will leave a link down in my description to similar ones if you are interested. And now I will put some hot glue onto the frame to attach that glass piece taking off any excess glue that I've sipped through on the front now I have some screw nuts that I will put on the side like that as a spacer and I have a total of uh, eight since I have eight corners like that and now on to my pieces and I hot glue them into place as well if you like this video and videos like this hit that like button and the subscribe button you support my channel and enable me to put up a more inspirational content for you. Now I'm putting the piece back into the frame and I'm hot gluing it to secure it. But I will not stop at that. I will also put some black tape around it like you see me do here. And I'm sure it will stay in place now. And that's it for this project. And here it is, my beautiful industrial farmhouse looking tray. Tell me what you think. I think it turned out beautiful. I love it. And you can see the screw nuts there as well. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Love it. So, tell me what you think of my creations today. Did you have a favourite? Let me know in the comments. And here they are together in my breakfast kitchen area. Looking pretty together. Love, love, love them. Now it's time to head on over to my description box and hit that link to the playlist of this challenge for more industrial farmhouse inspiration. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.